is the United States Supreme Court over my trial. I was there. I stood in front of the building. <laughs> estate planning and divorce, out of the two, collide. Typical scenario, a married couple has an estate plan together. Shared children, shared property, shared estate plan. Perhaps they have joint trust. They may have separate last wills and testament. And they may have sweetheart. If I die, everything goes to my spouse. If my spouse isn't alive, then it goes to my children. Something like that, right? It's a, a typical scenario. If you get divorced, you need to change your estate plan. <laughs> It makes sense, right? But sometimes we think about it and sometimes we don't. There's an estate plan that's comprised of a will or a trust, sometimes both. If you have a trust and you do it with me, you always additionally obtain a last will and testament. I make them work in conjunction. Besides the end of life documentation, there's also advanced directs, a power of attorney, a healthcare proxy. When you're an intact, married, happily married couple, mostly, not all the time, but you'd have your spouse as your proxy. You'd have your spouse as your agent agent in the power of attorney. What the heck needs to change after the divorce? Do you want your spouse in charge of the pull the plug document? They, they really aren't anyway, but that's what we need to do. There are other types of financial instruments or documents that also need to be changed. If you have a bank account and your beneficiary is your spouse, change it. The will won't do that. The divorce judgment won't do that. If you have a brokerage account, change the beneficiary. If you have a pension, change the beneficiary. You can't change it prior to the judgment of divorce, but you can change it after. If you have a life insurance policy and your beneficiary is your spouse. Be mindful about that because if you have shared children, you may want the insurance policy proceeds to go to your former spouse for the benefit of your children especially if they're mine. But if you have adult children, probably want to remove your spouse, make your children the beneficiaries of the insurance policy. So take an assessment of what you have, where it is, look at it, put it down on paper, pen to paper, write it down, take a look. What do I have to change? Where do I want it to go? Uh, and what can remain intact? If you need help, Frank, Bruno, law.com.